Hello everyone. This is uh, Aprilia S6O uh, full engine repaired movie. This is the first part which I prepare in which I prepare cases uh, to, uh, to join together. As you can see, I have some old sealant on edges which uh, I have to remove. This is important. Uh, to do it as the surfaces have to be perfectly clean and without any sharp or uh, objects or or, or uh, screw scratches I'm using a sandpaper with a graduation I think it was 400 but maybe it was 800 I'm not sure it is important to use the right graduation it, it can be too hard if it's too harsh you will remove too much material and cases won't be straight and if it's too soft like 1020 it will 200 it will be it will uh, feel too quickly and it will be pain to do such job I think 400 is the, the good uh, good paper for such work so here you can see I'm just cleaning edges uh, and taking care to remove all old sealant from the first case. You will also see that in a few seconds I will use uh, some sharp objects and here is a really important thing that I am pretty experienced so I know how those tools will behave and what damage I can do using them for beginners who uh, or people who are not that experienced I I ra rather uh, not recommend to use uh, you know screwdrivers and and, and uh, knives and any other met metal sharp object uh, you can substitute them with some plastic ones they are uh, again plastic must be not that hard to be soft and this way we can avoid a lot of problems during your rebuild. Okay, so in this case, uh, I'm rebuilding the engine which blew uh, under heavy load on fourth gear uh, near uh, maximum RPM. The damages were uh, broken piston, bended the bent uh, rod, and damaged uh, cylinder. The second uh, piston, rod and cylinder were fine. I think probably because mainly because I have an uh, anti-hopping clutch which caused the uh, you know, engine just to stop even if uh, even if rear re wheel was still spinning. So all unnecessary load was taken by clutch. The second important stuff is that as you can see I'm using the sandpaper, so there are a lot of small particles, like you know, small aluminium particles, which can go into the engine. So it is important to uh, use a compressed air, uh, maybe a brake cleaner, just to you know to get rid of all those unnecessary bits from the end from cases. You will see that I'm using uh, this compressed air a lot uh, but generally it is not all visible in in the in the in the in this movie in this tutorial as i didn't re record all stuff i did okay but i will try to talk about everything i did i will also try to find uh, a part in which i was uh, extracting and uh, putting a new bushes for now I couldn't find them. I think I will have to look in on the other computer. We will see. Okay, here is the part of cases. Uh, I heard this is a tricky one. That sometimes the, uh, the coolant or oil can, can go through here. Uh, and some, some respected guys on the internet like Cal made some 
external uh, external gasket here I'm not sure if it's uh, really important for me if it's uh, if it's straight and uh, sealant is properly applied it is not necessary to use any gasket here but you know this is just in my personal opinion maybe it has to be here I don't know after a few uh, engines I already did there was no problem register it anymore so maybe it is just personal opinion okay so nothing interesting here just just uh, going through the surface As you can see, those are types type one cases, which by many are uh, are uh, are choose are chosen because they think they are the best from all three types. To be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I didn't use any type three cases yet. I used type one and type two. Both of them are running fine. Just like you know, like like, like a news for you. So here it is, the screwdriver part. Okay, so as I told you before. You need to be very careful using the screwdrivers. As you can see, I have some, you know, uh, I have some flow in it, so I try to not use some uh, force and be gentle. So this is tricky. You need to be very careful if you want to use screwdriver or or other <coughs> sharp objects. From time to time, it is uh, better to take a new piece of uh, of sandpaper, as as I told you before. Even if it's 400, it gets filled with uh, sealant and parts of aluminium, so it is just easier to go with a new. cases on the internet which I heard that people had to grind uh, cases because they were so you know bended that after even after a good amount of sealant it was not possible to uh, to seal them what I did I did a home measurement like, you know it is hard to do it but uh, I take the a piece of glass and I put it on case and I just inspected that uh, each part of case is, uh, uh, is touching the glass if it's right I think the case can, can be named as a straight if not I think grinding is necessary to do it but you must be <coughs> informed that not any every workshop will do it and if they do sometimes they are not confident about what uh, what to do and how to do so be uh, be very careful with picking the right workshop to do it okay, I have my own which is doing for me 90% of, of such things and I can trust them but generally if 
have to look for a new one I would you know look for comments from the internet people their opinion if the work was done fine etc we need to be aware of such problems here on the engine you can see that I left bearings as they were they are in good condition uh, so I will just you know uh, clean them and um, primarily oil oil them and it will be enough to keep them in in case one more thing I would also mention that uh, those cases uh, the edges are pretty sharp so you need to be careful to not cut yourself any additional unexpected move on the edge of the of the case uh, it can just you know cut your, your skin so be, be careful I'm not using the gloves all the time because I like to feel the power of, uh, of, of, uh, of sand uh, paper if I use if I use uh, glo uh, gloves it just not I just don't feel it as much as I would have uh, as I would like to Later on, during the cases uh, join, I will use a, a glove only for one hand to, because the sealant is just very very hard to remove from skin. And I will, I will advise you to do the same in future. Here we are almost, almost done with the first case. you are um, asking which part to, 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 to clean it is actually very simple <coughs> the, the joining surface is the surface which is on the top of of the of the case so each each stuff which is on the same level as the edge has to be cleaned and additionally uh, the surface mm, uh, under the liner has to be cleaned as well some people uh, are here here we are see and this is the tricky part because I uh, I don't advise to, to clean uh, this uh, 45 degree or whatever angle is there by sandpaper because we can damage it easily uh, I'm here using the screwdriver and the rack, but you know, again, be really careful. Okay, the screwdriver can go through the rack and and damage the case. So I'm just using a proper a proper force and inspect the rack all the time to be thick enough to not damage the case. And I'm cleaning their surface, which is generally vertical. Okay, it is before. Uh, before this 45 degrees so don't the surface don't use sandpaper to use to clean those 45 degrees uh, surface okay uh, here I have a easier easier job because I opened this engine before uh, for the first uh, orange sealant uh, replacement and on the first treatment there was a lot of red lo loctites uh, here and pre uh, which I already cleaned before and on the uh, other engines I did I spotted a lot of sealant like this you know this free bone sealant put who someone put it under a uh, sleeve where the o-ring goes uh, in my opinion it is not necessary and it just uh, may cause the problems uh, in the future, if uh, if the if the surface is cleaned co correctly and the O-ring is properly installed, there is no possible uh, way to. Uh, of course, there is always way for failure, but generally it is hard to uh, to to have a failure through this O-ring. 
people just did this because they was afraid that it might be a problem but in my opinion it was not just pure o-ring is not in this place you don't have to put a ton of sealant here i used some some soft plastic because it was easier for me to uh, to get rid of big particles of sealant than using for example nail and now I'm just using the sandpaper to clean surface surface to the proper shape <coughs> there is one more thing like, uh, uh, for those who are interested in some competition races they uh, they maybe not highly advised but they force you to use water in your cooling system uh, in my opinion this is very bad for engine so uh, after each competition be uh, don't be lazy and don't wait for for few days to change uh, water to cool coolant do it this on the same day okay I did it a few days later and all internals were already rusted so it is not worth it to wait a few days or even longer before change from coolant from what water to coolant okay as you can see here <coughs> I didn't touch gearbox as well I just inspected tooth uh, a teeth on uh, on sprockets every uh, teeth was fine uh, every tooth was fine no damages at all so I left gearbox as as it is additionally I didn't have any problems with gears at all so I just left it This is very important stuff here. The hole, there is an oil path going to the through the starter into the and uh, magneto cover into the uh, crank. Again, sharp object, you need to be very, very careful. Sharp tool, sorry.
No, oh, actually, I saw the number of paper. It was uh, 320. I but I think the the 400 will be good as well. I tried to move the sleeve here, but it is just too hard. Probably it was glued by orange sealant before, so it's impossible to take it out with proper tools. One more try, try, but no luck, as I told you before. Probably it will have to be heated up or something. If we try to go with sandpaper on the thick, uh, thick layer of, of sealant, sandpaper will just fill too quickly and will lose its, uh, its uh, proposal. So we need to get rid of the, the thick layer of coolant first and then we can just finish it with sandpaper. It is important because we don't want to, you know, change the paper each one minute. Okay. 
Here there is some sharp object on case. I think it was caused caused by liner or or piston during the engine explosion. But as you can see, I just get rid of it. Okay, again area just a little bit under uh, over uh, the 45 degrees surface. Of course, if we have a sealant or any other, uh, uh, you know, uh, stuff on this 45 degrees surface, you need to clean it. By I strongly uh, advise to use something soft, not sandpaper, not. Uh, screwdriver just a rag with some good chemicals to to clean it okay I'm using this um, this uh, sandpaper but it's not on this uh, 45 degrees sur sur uh, surface just a little bit over it there is some kind of I don't know how, how to call it but uh, some ox 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 oxidite surface on aluminium so it is better to just you know clean it but probably it could be uh, it could stay there and there would be any any problem but I like to have things done correctly <laughs> 